I'm here with this, this very handsome gentleman, and if any of you guys read my blog, you know how big of an Amari Hardwick fan I am. I think I post everything. Biased. I have sent treats, Girl Scout cookies, you know what? money, all of that for you to say what you just said. Here's, here's, what I, here's what I can tell you. We've interviewed a million people. You know that. You, if you read the blog and you watch our stuff. But Omari is probably one of the most genuine people that has talent. He is somebody that you should be a fan of. So we love you and we're, we're very proud of you. Very humbling. Yes, no, you just shouted cool. out my grandmother. Thank you for that. Right, that is very cool. It's the truth. Now, um, we're, we're a fan of everything that you do. One thing that um, I love about you is that you do poetry, verses and flow. Um, that was a surprise, you know, because first, I first noticed you acting and then I was like, oh my God, he could do poetry too? Yes. I was doing the poetry thing a little bit before, That's you know. What they say. Now, I, of course, I, you know, was studying theater in school, but when I came out here, I just thought it was a cheap way. I started out in New York, and by the time I got here, I thought it was a cheap way to go to acting class. And what I mean by that is, you know, once I started delivering poetry on stage in a very spoken word manner, I just felt like a lot like acting class, you're just connecting with people and um, in subtle ways, just making eye contact and not necessarily about the hysterics of arm flailing and and all of that, you know, just standing there reading your poetry, connecting with a particular person in the audience and just locking in on them. And I thought um, that's what the essence of acting is. And so I thought that was a cheap way, quote unquote, to sort of pay for acting class was just to do poetry. But I was always writing, but the spoken word thing happened when I got to town. Yes, and that's why I think uh, part of the reason why you're so uh, talented and you're so good at what you do, because you understand the passion of every project that you take on, you know, you just disappear in the role. You're saying that. Yeah, yeah I definitely um, enjoy the research part of it, and there's a whole bunch of different colors in Omari, and so I'm really lucky that there's such a, a weird range of um, crazy boy to eight-year-old boy to silly boy, you know, there's a lot in me. And one, one of the things that I uh, saw you at recently was the premiere of Corey Hardwick's, um, yeah. So um, you seem to take on a mentor role with a lot of the young actors. So um, why do you feel it's important for people to do that? Um, just because, you know, they always say if, if you can't, if you know you don't want to help yourself, then nobody wants to um, help you help yourself. And so a lot of those guys, I'm really into um, the ones that believe enough in themselves and believe that, as much as we sometimes call home and we're like, I'm done with this, I don't want to do this anymore, let me go back to wherever I come from. Um, many of them do believe that they're actually supposed to be here and they're called and ordained and anointed to be here. And so if I sense that in somebody and they've got talent, you know, it's very necessary to have talent. But it's also, um, for me, I'm just as, as gravitating towards people that aren't necessarily maybe as talented, but just passionate. So as, as long as you got passion and belief that um, it's not a waste of your dream bus to drop you off in Tinseltown, then I tend to be, you know, down with that program of helping them out. I just think people need to help each other out, especially people that are brown and black, you know, so I'm big on it. So you are a blessing to others, and I think that that, you know, in turn will bless your career. I mean, you are the next big thing. There is no denying that. That's what you say. No, there's, that's what, that's say. what he says. Oh, Lord, thank you. There's no denying that. Now, not to put you on the spot, but do you have any, like, little snippet of spoken word? A little snippet? Uh, yeah, Image Awards 2013. Um, since we started singing and since we started slinging swords, people have been trying to figure out our dreams. We're here on red carpets, painted red because it's the passion color. We are live and in color like no other. Image Award, NAACP, I'm talking to you, and you were talking to me. I'm Sharice Nicole. This wraps up another 2013 NAACP Image Awards. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.